Shiv Kumar, at least on Monday morning, managing that big support coming in for him. DK Shiv Kumar has a growing support. This is, remember, apart from the supporters who have gathered outside his house. They have gathered with uh, enormous cakes and flowers. But here's that first visual on your screen now. Voka Ligastia has decided to jump in support of DK Shiv Kumar. Now, Nirmala Nanda Sia, remember, is one of the most prominent Voka Liga Seers and he has decided to support. Let's dip in for a while as we see these Seers who are talking to DK Shiv Kumar and his group has decided to contribute and support for DK Shiv Kumar. Now, remember, apart from the fact that uh, the Voka Liga groups are, of course, influential, but this year specifically is also very influential. Nirmala Nanda and uh, to get his support at this juncture. Remember, this is all about optics right now. Uh, DK Shiv Kumar trying to clearly project. He has the support of the workers, of the cadre, of the supporters. They've uh, brought in flowers and cakes apart from his birthday celebration. But he's also got in support of the religious seers. What better than that at this point to know and to send out a message he has all this support. Political optics clearly at play here. But let's listen in to the reaction also that's coming. We will appeal to Congress High Command to announce CM candidate. Shri D.K. Shukumar because Shukumar's contribution please consider Shukumar's service and uh, please cooperate all Congress senior leaders so remember this is very important what you're looking at on your screen Adi Chunchana Giri as uh, a main uh, mud pontiff, Nirmala Sandha Swamiji is going to play probably a very crucial role. And in Karnataka, this is one of the most influential muds as well. I want to now bring in Nabila Jamal for the latest on that. Uh, Nabila, good morning. Clearly, you know, it's no break for our colleagues on the ground in Karnataka, even after the elections are over. What are you picking up about this year's support to DK Shiv Kumar? Could he actually make a difference as optics to show that the Voka Liga seers are supporting DK Shiv Kumar? You know, uh, what we see here is that the overwhelming numbers of Vokalega community and all the Matsyas, like the Adi Chinchungiri Matsya, we just heard, Apuja, who've given their unconditional support to DK Shiv Kumar. And what we observed is it's not it's not just that after the, after the Congress came into power uh, that they are now throwing their weight behind DK. It's in fact even before elections itself, the Vokalega community had held meetings and had already pledged their allegiance to DK, saying that they see DK as a fit and an able candidate to lead the uh, state of Karnataka. He is, uh, he is uh, strong, he is strategic, he uh, has organizational skills and basically the ability uh, to uh, develop this state of Karnataka. They aren't, uh, even though they are religious seers, if you see they aren't really speaking on religious lines. Even the Mata, the Adi Chunchungiri Mata seer who is the head pontiff there has spoken about development for Karnataka, not about the Vokaliga community. And also one point to be noted uh, here, Pooja, is that the JDS, which is the Vokaliga uh, community stronghold, in fact, all, most of the Vokaliga community people usually vote for the JDS and that's why we've seen uh, Kumar Swami more often than not being thrown up as a king maker and the king itself. Nabila, stay on with me. Nabila, stay on with me please because there are more reactions coming in. This could be the biggest story right now. Vokal Liga supporters coming in of this year. Listen into this. Congress High Command is going to go. Now, D.K. Shivkumar and Sidramay both are going to be able to do this. No, I can't say that. Alright, so remember these are uh, seers who are coming in either to meet DK Shiv Kumar trying to get an award and I'll play again that uh, seer's uh, reaction as well. But what you're looking on your screen, Nirmala Nanda seer, Voka Liga seers, these are remember one of the most influential groups. Let's just dip in for a few seconds to hear what is being said. ये नाड़ी ने जनते को देना उस तरह करना नहीं करता वह तो बहुत बता कांग्रेस के कोटी देने तरह वह तो शुकुमर और वह तो जयांत का कंतर देना अपने व्यवस्था तो मरने के साथ देते हैं खाया वाचा मनसा 
So remember, DK Shiv Kumar may be trying to get the Voka Liga CR support as well. What does it mean for both DK Shiv Kumar and Siddharamaya? Let's break down for you about what are the strengths and weaknesses. Now, for DKS, he belongs to the influential Voka Liga community, thereby a CR coming to his support. For Siddharamaya, the strength is that he's also from the Kuruba community. So there is going to be that uh, caste angle, group angle, community angle that is going to be at play here. But beyond that, remember, it is about permutations and combinations on the ground. DK Shivkumar is seen as resourceful. While he's called the muscle man, he's also called as Chanakya, as troubleshooter for the Congress party, the one who gets things done. Did he get the elections done in many ways for the Congress party? But for Siddharamaya, he's one of the only two chief ministers who's completed a term. He has that experience of running a full-fledged government and that experience could come in handy for the Congress party in the southern state of Karnataka. Now, DK Shivkumar, remember, has been facing inquiries lately. He had uh, received summons from the Enforcement Directorate and other, of, and there are serious charges of money laundering on him, all of that. These are corruption cases which are currently on. However, for Siddharamaya, it is the age factor that's going to be a problem. In his mid-70s, he may be a chief minister already, but he's not a Yuva Neta and could DK Shivkumar at uh, 61 get that opportunity? But DK Shivkumar's weakness is Popularity confined relatively to urban areas. He started uh, with the Tipu Jayanti seen as an appeasa. Siddharamaya has often been targeted by the BJP as someone who goes out to appease the Muslim community specifically and that's what they tried to target him during the elections as well. So these are some of the strengths and weaknesses of DK Shivkumar and Siddharamaya. The Congress High Command, Malikarjun Khadge and the Gandhis will have to look very closely at what will work for them, for Karnataka, and ahead of 2024 elections.